I suppose to sacrifice your child to the devil. The Easter Bunny Rabbit got nothing to do with the resurrection of Jesus. It's all pagan. Nimrod, pagan. Jerusalem, pagan. You don't even see the word Easter even in the Bible. Hallelujah. It's Jesus who arose from the dead. Not Jerusalem. Not Nimrod. Nimrod is in hell. He worships statues and idols. When God told Israel, Thou shalt not have no other God before me. Thou shalt not worship any graven images. Hallelujah. Israel know better. God was the one who gave Moses the commandments on Mount Sinai. It wasn't just 10 commandments. It was 613 commandments according to the Hebrew Torah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Never since Jesus Christ came, he wanted the commandments to be in our hearts. The law was given by Moses. By God to Moses. Under the dispensation of the law. But ever since Jesus Christ came, grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. St. John chapter 1, verse number 17. For God so loved the world, St. John 3, 16, that he gave his only begotten son, not the Easter Bunny rabbit. The Easter Bunny can't save you. Even the Easter, even the bunny worship God. That Easter egg, when you see that egg, it represents Jesus, who was born in an egg that was a false doctrine, and they was killing little babies and sacrificing babies to Jesus and Nimrod and Molech. That's what that egg represents. You don't see Easter eggs in the Bible. It's all pagan, pagan. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved. Yahshua HaMashiach. I am a believer and I'm not in no Santa Maria because Santa Maria is witchcraft. It's an abomination where you sacrifice your children to the devil. That's wicked. That's evil. God was angry at Israel in the book of Ezekiel chapter number 8 verse 14 and verse 15 and verse 16 there was worshiping the sun god nimrod they had these festivals around spring just like now so they begin to have these festivals and having sunday morning services worshiping the sun god by worship the son of god jesus christ he's the one who arose from the dead not to moose not nimrod Nimrod is in hell, along with his mother Seremus, who called herself a moon goddess. Read the book of Jeremiah, huh? chapter 44. Jeremiah was prophesying against the queens of the heavens when the Jews was worshiping his false goddess. Ashkar, they even call her. When you see women showing their breasts up in Hollywood, that's what they worship it. Because the women were showing their breasts to seduce the men. You, you're supposed to cover your body. And present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. The only one who, be, who should be seeing your breast is your husband. The only one who should be seeing your privates is your wife. Not going around causing lust and prostituting your body. You're already beautiful. You're already beautiful. It's about the inner beauty. We can love Jesus. You don't got to wear no mini skirt. We can love Jesus. You don't got to dress seductive. God said, be holy, for I am holy. Praise the Lord. Don't call yourself a goddess. We're not supposed to worship no man. I know a woman. All the worship go to God. Yes, the Bible says ye are gods according to Psalms 82. But we are not the immortal God. Keep reading. In Psalms 82, David said, but these gods shall die like men. But the God that we serve is a God above all gods. Yes, we are gods, but we are divi gods, but we are not the almighty God. The almighty God gets all the glory. Not Ashtar, not the moon goddess, not the divas. Hallelujah. Many of you are worshiping celebrities. You're worshiping devil worshipers. Up in the Hollywood, 